welcome back to my channel if you're new here or you're seeing me for the first time you're welcome my name is Chundi and for my return subscribers thank you so much for being loyal welcome on board and I love you so much so in today's video I will be sharing with you guys a makeup tutorial if you want to know how I achieve this look like you guys how I achieve this look stay tuned and keep watching so guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for <laughs> like subscription is free you don't have to pay any money to subscribe guys so please hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video so guys just you know subscribe right subscribe <laughs> okay so stay tuned if you want to see how I transform to this gorgeous like just stay tuned and keep watching welcome back guys please watch this video to the end so I will be doing my brows off camera so I will be using this um, eyeshadow primer from exclusive yeah so I went ahead to use my hand to apply the eyeshadow primer and I'll be blending it with a brush but first of all I'll use my hand to apply the eyeshadow primer so now I'm going in with a blending brush to further blend the eyeshadow primer in order for it not to you know have um, harsh lines so for my transition shade I'll be going in with this um, color is a red kind of um, and also going it with this brush I got from Jumia I can't really remember the name but I got it from Jumia and so I will be applying bit by bit around my crease area and blend as I go apply bit by bit So you keep on blending, blending and also blending. So I will for my second shade I will be going with this darker color starting from my outer corner of the eye start applying from the outer corner of the eye apply bit by bit and then blend as you go So as you can see, I'm just, you know, typing, like, I'm not dragging it, I'm just, you know, pressing it down. So for this um, third color, I'll be going in with this um, pink, did I say pink or nude shade? Yeah, so apply that as well, bit by bit. 
and also I'm trying to like create this um, wing eye using this gold glitters so to create it I'm starting it from my eyelid and taking it um, starting it from the inner corner of my eye and then taking it to the outer corner of my eyelid so and then I'm going in with this um, eyeliner to further give the wing eye this sharp you know look <laughs> yeah so make sure it's aligned with um, the golden glitters As you can see, I'm trying to create this wing eye to, you know, define the eye shadow. So I'll be going in with this mega impact mascara to brush my eyelashes and also to remove the fall off of the eyeshadow from my eyelashes yes guys that's my eyelashes like they're so long and when you use this um, mascara it brings out the um, eyelashes like to be standing one one it's so nice so after I'm done with um, the mascara out Sorry guys, I went off camera to fix my false lashes. So now I will be cleaning my face for the second time. And I'm going in with this um, fix spray. Allow the spray to dry for some minutes. Then after that, I'll be going in with this um, face primer, um, Pons face primer. And I also like to apply my uh, face primer bit by bit. And I also blend as I go. So I'll apply and then blend. And make sure you blend it very well. So I, I normally sweat a lot. That's why you can see me applying it all over my face. So I'll be going in with this um, foundation in the shade 607. I got it from Classic. And I'm using a damn beauty sponge to blend it and I also like to apply my foundation bit by bit I'll apply and then blend apply and then blend bit by bit Make sure you blend it very well. As you 
can see I'll apply and then blend as I go I don't know why but I love this technique And guys, make sure you don't apply too much product, like too much foundation on your face. So now we're just blending, blending and blending and blending. After that, I'll be concealing my eyes. I'm starting off uh, from my under eye. And please don't add too much product when you're concealing your eyes. And one thing I'll advise is that when concealing, because here I I concealed my face first before blending. I noticed that the concealer were getting dried, like it was very difficult to blend it. So if you're using any concealer, I would advise that you apply a portion, a certain portion first, blend it before going to the next um, section. So yeah, I'm trying to like blend it and as you can see it's <laughs> I don't know like it's very difficult to blend but I further like take my time to make sure that everything blends very well. So yeah, I'll be going in with this um, setting um, powder from exclusive to set the highlighted areas starting from my under eye as well so I'm trying to like here I'm trying to set the under of my eyes with this um, setting powder from exclusive and guys please don't apply too much product like me Um, please take note of where you're going to be concealing like both your under of, um, the under of your eyes and also your jaw jaw area <laughs> I don't know if that's what's called and the bridge of your nose and also your forehead these are the areas you will be concealing And in this process, I'll be doing a 
reverse uh, contour so I'm going in with this um, with my setting powder to do a reverse contouring so and guys please don't use too much product so I'll be going in to contour my face using um, this contour powder I got from Maybelline's in the shade Coco. So I'm starting off from my nose. I noticed that um, this brush is not giving me what I want so I went in with this brush I got from uh, Jumia so to further contour the bridge of my nose um, this brush is working perfectly but um, I went back with that brush to further brush the contour to blend it rather so I'm um, applying the contour in my cheek bone area is it cheek bone area <laughs> yeah on my forehead applying it bit by bit contouring my forehead as well also further blend the bridge of my nose so I'll be going in with this um, fluffy brush to dust of the SS setting powder make sure you blend it very well like so that you won't be having um, any harsh lines I'm using this powder from um, classic to further blend the setting powder off and guys if you're doing this process make sure you blend very well in order not to leave any harsh line you blend blend and blend so now i'll be highlighting my face Oh, sorry my cheek <laughs> I'll be lighting my cheek area to give it that glow and guys if you're applying this make sure you don't apply too much like everything should be moderate can you see that glow <laughs>
Ooh, look at that glow. Your girl is looking like a bag of money. <laughs> and also, I will be applying the glow, the bronzer, in the bridge. Oh, sorry, on the bridge of my nose. And also applying it on the bridge of my nose and at the peak of my lips, peak of the lips, yeah, <laughs> yes. Applying it bit by bit. So I went ahead to moisturize my lips. So I'll be going in with this. Um, lip pencil to line my lips I got this um, from classic USA classic cosmetic USA yeah <laughs> I think yeah so I line my lips I'll be going in with this um, darker red, will I say red or oz blood lipstick. So I'm also applying bit by bit. Actually, I can't remember the shade of this lipstick. I think this color is dark red. I can't tell, guys. And I'll be going in with this shade. I think it's um, ruby red. Ruby red I got from Classic to further lighten the color. So here I'm, I'm using um, the same shade I used for my transition to smoosh the under of my eyes. And guys, please don't apply too much, just moderate. Um, please try not to leave any harsh lines. I'll be 
going in with this eyeliner to line my waterline Here I'm lining the second eye and then applying mascara to my under eye lashes. And when doing this, please as much as possible in order for it not to stain your under eye as you can see I'm trying to like clean the tips of my under eyelashes So I'll be going in with this setting fix spray to you know set the face. Wow, isn't this beautiful? <laughs> yeah, allow the setting spray to dry and I'm trying to be generous here with my setting spray. <laughs> Ooh look at this look. Look at this gorge. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and also comment. Let me know in the section, in the comment section down below, what you think about this video. And if you also have anything for me to share, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video.